Hello again, Internet. Today we're going to talk about the Swapper. I'm going to do another Overview Under 5 video and tell you about the story without spoiling it. The gameplay mechanics are like. And at the end, tell you if I think it's worth your time and your money. So let's get started. You spend the game on the research station Theseus, orbiting the planet Cori 5. And you get to meet your character, and you notice something a little peculiar right off the bat. Well, I did. Uh, that kind of looks like a tin can for keeping food in. We'll get into those details in a minute. Okay, so you crash land and are immediately introduced with how to move around, and then you find the swapper device. Swapper device is very integral to the story and, and the gameplay mechanics. You make clones of yourself to complete puzzles and to get around. Now these clones, uh, well, they're a dime a dozen apparently because you're going to kill a lot of them. And by a lot of them, I mean lots of them. They're going to fall off sheer cliffs. You're going to crush them. But anyway, back to these puzzles. What you're seeing is a tutorial puzzle, so I'm not... A you're going to ruin how to do any of them. So your clones, they move when you move, and they disappear when you go through that light. It's also a checkpoint. You will get introduced through some of the backstory on what happened before you arrived through some of these logs and memories that kind of take place. There's also something going on with these rocks that may or may not be in your dimension, but I don't want to get into that too far because that's really part of the story. Now with these puzzles, there are different colors of light. There's red, there's blue, there's purple later on, and they all inhibit your ability to do certain things, which makes the puzzles difficult. The puzzles, you, un you obtain these orbs at the end of them that allow you into new areas. The environments, well, they're, they're pretty cool looking, and they vary quite a bit as well. But the cool thing about these environments is they're made all out of stuff you find at the hardware store or clay. And these pictures I pulled off of the website, the press kit, show you the little details that went into it. And you can see them as you go through the game. But in these puzzles, you're going to be competing against, like I said, those three colors of light, gravity, and, well, not getting crushed. Now, moving around isn't too difficult. Uh, the station is rather large, but once you discover teleportation devices, I thought this was cool, kind of a time saver, you can zip around and unlock puzzles that you couldn't finish the first time through. But let's get down to the verdict on the swapper. So give or take a Steam sale, you're going to spend about $15 USD uh, and get about five to six hours of gameplay. The puzzles, they're challenging, they're fun, the story is good, the environment's enjoyable. So overall, I give it and approved. It's worth uh, the $14.99. If you can get it for less than $10, go and snap it up if you like puzzles. They're challenging, but not overly difficult. If you enjoyed this Overview Under 5 video, please consider subscribing or leaving a comment to let me know if there are any other games you'd like me to overview. Either way, thanks for watching.